Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> and, and I forgot how I say all this stuff. <laughs> uh, it's the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, Saturday, May the 4th is also 45 day. It's 4 5 2024. It's bird day. Happy bird day to you. <laughs> she hates it when I do that. Firefighters day, international respect for chickens day, national candied orange peel day. Wow. Also orange juice day. It's a big orange day is what it is today. I guess so. Beer pong day, world give day, star wars day because of the whole May the 4th thing. Um and what else do we have here? Uh, national garden naked day. Yeah, that's uh yeah, it's not. I didn't know that was a thing. Not going to happen. But I am going to celebrate. Sure, you are. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's actually World Naked Gardening Day as well. And then uh, Cinco de Mayo on Sunday, May fifth. Uh, also, hug a shed and take a selfie day. Hug a mm-hmm. shed. Yeah, you're supposed to sh- hug a shed for some reason. All right. No pants day. Wait a minute. Wasn't it just no pants day the other day? Apparently, there's a lot of no pants days. There's a lot of no pants, no pants days. Uh, May day for mutts. Motorcycle mass and blessing of the bike day. Step Mother's Day. So that's the week before Mother's Day. And World Laughter Day. All of those things happening this Sunday. And I've got a guest joining me. I'm excited to visit with uh, Daniel Devise. He's got a book about the Blues Brothers. We're going to chat with him all about it coming up. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. It's the BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Australian researchers say they've determined exactly how much of your day you should spend sitting and standing and walking and sleeping if okay. you want to achieve optimal health. A team from Swinburne University in Technology. Swinburne. Yeah. They analyzed the behavior of 2,000 people within a 24-hour period to determine the right mix of exhaustion and relaxation. According to them, the ideal breakdown goes like this. Eight hours of sleep. That's nice. Five hours of standing. Woo. Six hours of sitting. Okay. And four hours split between light and moderate physical activity. They say that breakdown contributes to maintaining ideal glycemic control and promoting the ideal heart health. What do you think of that? Five hours of standing. Five that hours seems like of standing. a lot. Yeah. You probably don't have to do it all at once. Six hours of sitting, that also seems like a lot. Because I wouldn't want to sit somebody Most for people six do hours. sit for more than that, really, when you're at work. <sighs> I suppose. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area, but they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Did you know? Brought to you by Genesis Gold, IRA.com. Heidi, did you know that Mexico's presidential palace is 14 times larger than the White House? I did not. From 1935 to 2018, it was off limits. You couldn't go there. Nobody could go there. Uh, Only the president. This changed in 2018 when the president of Mexico at the time won the campaign and promised to give that back to the people. And as a a goodwill gesture, he said, I'm moving into... I'm not moving into the palace. I'm going to live in a small apartment in Mexico City in the Central District. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, he gave up a presidential palace of 603,000 square feet. Ooh. Yeah, so that that was a nice little give. Jeez. And now people go and tour it. It's, it's pretty cool. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. If the question is, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Do you know what the answer is? No. Netflix. Yeah. They really? got a green light for a live, oh, a live action series, which will be written by two of the executives from the MGM Plus series from Josephine Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg. So that's all we know so far. Uh, they're going to have a talking dog, which is going to be a tough get. 
uh, and then some some teens that are going to be uh, you know solving crime. Uh, also, just want to make sure everybody understands. There's no bla- bad blood between Melissa McCarthy and Barbara Streisand. Barbara had tweeted and then deleted. No, it didn't tweet. It was Instagram because I don't think she's on tweeting anymore. Uh, anyway, she Instagrammed. Is that how you say that? Instagrammed. Sure. I'm gonna just say she tweeted because that's how she tweeted on Instagram. Uh, about Melissa McCarthy asking if she was on Ozempic, and then she deleted it because it didn't look good that she was asking that. So anyway, Melissa McCarthy's like, no, we're fine. We're good. And Alec Baldwin (laughs) compared his cocaine habit to drinking coffee in a story that... Oh, my. Anything to get this story away from the other story. Good Lord. All right. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Allergists warn that this may be the worst allergy season ever. Or at least they hope so. <laughs> it certainly has been lingering a yeah. little more for me than what it normally does. Allergists are hoping to plant that seed and, and hopefully we'll be able to pay for the summer home this weekend <laughs> if you do it right. No, I, I, uh, I know there are people that suffer with allergies. I actually suffer with some allergies. And I don't know what I'm allergic to because I went and I, I seek, uh, was seeking help. And my allergist who I talked to said, take your pick. Could be anything. Oh, I was like, well, this, that's helpful. Isn't there a way to narrow it down at least? <laughs> well, you're allergic to something around here. I'm like, well, I knew that. Thank you. I don't know anything more. <laughs> and apparently dull devices are now cool. The boring phone. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a new, almost featureless flip phone that is perfect for young people seeking to ditch their smartphones in favor of a dumb phone. I... It's a new thing actually love this i would do this this collaboration between heineken beer and fashion retailer bodega caused a storm when it was unveiled in milan at design week the boring phone is part of a new boring dumb phone boom it's a result of the growing suspicion that gen z has towards the data and attention harvesting tech companies that they have grown up with yeah it really started last year thanks to some tiktokers posting under the hashtag bring back flip phones hashtag (laughs) <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't even know how to say it. The pound sign, bring back flip phones, hashtag. <laughs> anyway, uh, the move to offlining or digital minimalism is also seen in Gen Z's decline of social media. They're using less social media than uh, the millennials and Gen X. They are the only generation whose time on social media has gone down since 2021. Every other generation, boomers, Gen X, yeah. Gen Good Y, which is millennials, uh, everybody else that's gone up, Gen Z is like, eh, I've had enough of this. So maybe, maybe there's some good news there. Mine's Scoop. gone down quite a bit. I'm yeah. not on as much as I used Mine to be. Mine is just, just as bad as it's ever been. <laughs> Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Excited to visit with a very talented author. Daniel Devise is the author of The Blues Brothers, an epic friendship, the rise of improv, and the making of an American film classic. And it is an American film classic, a very quotable movie, and this is a movie that a lot of people would say is one of their favorite films. It's, it's one of those that are in the pantheon. Um, I would say, just in in terms of pop culture and quotability, you know, it's up there with uh, the Holy Grail and maybe Dazed and Confused or maybe Big Lebowski. I mean, depending on what you're into. And those are guy films. There's there's films for women that are equally renowned, you know, uh, like Mean Girls. But it's just, it's one for the ages. And uh, it's on Netflix right now. And I bet it's up the airways. And this movie did quite a bit for blues music, and I see you've got a book about B.B. King, so you must be at least a bit of a blues fan. Well, I'm from Chicago, like Belushi, and yeah, I grew up with the blues. I think the first show I ever saw was Albert Collins and the Icebreakers uh, with, I think, Stevie Ray Vaughan made the opening for him, which was funny. 
But yeah, I was always intrigued by the blues. I was always into it. And so what happened was I was doing this B.B. King biography, and I had occasion to interview John Landis, the filmmaker, and I wanted to know why B.B. King wasn't in the Blues Brothers, because that's a good question. He's the king of the blues. Yeah. It probably occurred to you when you first saw it, where's B.B. King? Absolutely. Uh, And John Landis is a great storyteller. And so he said, well, you know, B.B. was was too busy. I'm trying to talk like John Landis. You know, his manager said he's got 300 gigs a year. So, um... We just got to talking, and Landis is a great storyteller. And by probably the end of that interview, which was in 2020, I, I had my next book, basically. Again, the new book is called The Blues Brothers, but you've got some other amazing books out. And there's one called Andy and Don. It's about Andy Griffith and Don Knotts and their friendship, and that book looks amazing. Well, I, I'm glad you mentioned that other book, Blues Brothers book. It's, it's starting out hot, relative for me anyway, kind of like Andy and Don. That one's went out of the gate pretty hot and heavy. And they're similar books. I structured them with the same formula, which was with Andy and Don, which is several years ago now, I set out to do a dual biography of Andy Griffith and Don Knotts. Don was my brother-in-law. Yes, it's true. And with this Blues Brothers book, I set out to do a dual biography of Ackroyd and Belushi. And there's a lot of similarities. They were both, in both cases, kind of like soulmate level friends. And then in both books, you get to the sort of major work at the center of their stories, which in the case of Andy and Don, it's the Andy Griffith show, which I I go on about for like 100 pages in that book. And with the Blues Brothers, the big payoff, of course, is a very deep dive into the making of the Blues Brothers film. But they're very similar books in the way they're structured. I love that. Well, your new book, I think, is going to do well. When I went to Amazon to look for it, it showed up higher than the actual Blues Brothers movie. That's just because it came out and a lot of people are buying it, especially here in Chicago. Um, I got a full court press of media, thank God. But, I mean, it's just people are coming out of the woodwork, I think, like you and me, who are lifelong fans of the film and would like to read more about it. So as you were putting this book together, was there like a favorite little nugget that stands out in your mind? I mean, I have to go back to that first conversation with John Landis, the director, when he explained to me that there was a real mission from God that wasn't the one in the film. In the film, the mission from God is to pay off a tax bill that the Catholic orphanage owes, which doesn't make any sense. Catholic orphanages don't pay tax bills. (laughs) <laughs> but behind the scenes, the real mission from God was Ackroyd and Belushi and Landis. Landis was a big music fan, too. They wanted to revive the careers of the uh, soul survivors. You think of the Steely Dan song, uh, Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles, James Brown, <clears throat> had fallen on hard times. Um, if you think back to 79 and 80, I mean, no offense to Andy Gibb and Donna Summer, but they were they were ruling the charts. Yeah along with arena rock and the old rhythm and blues artists, you know, we're having a hard time. Uh, James Brown made a disco record. Cab Calloway, God love him, made a disco. And so they, they trotted out these huge iconic names and put them in the film in hope of revitalizing their careers. And it worked. Yeah. I wrote an article for USA Today where I work now that explains this, but after it came out, uh, James Brown and Ray Charles, uh, both went on the record in People Magazine and Rolling Stone, respectively, saying, hey, these boys really, really kind of gave us a new lease on life. Um, and, you know, I mean, they gave themselves a new lease on life. Aretha Franklin gave a performance for the ages, and so did Ray Charles, and so did James Brown. So they, they revitalized their own careers. But Universal Pictures and Belushi and Ackroyd gave them, you know, the stage to do it. Again, the book is out right now. It's called The Blues Brothers, An Epic Friendship, The Rise of Improv, and the Making of an American Film Classic. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com give yourself a little credit at bettercreditcards.com bettercreditcards.com fun fact for you Heidi what's up John a person burns essentially the same number of calories whether they're running a mile or walking a mile oh really yeah so you might as well you know just go at your own pace just take your whatever time whatever that happens to be uh, fun fact for you Heidi what's up John Tweety Pie won an Oscar in 1948 is that a Tweety Bird cartoon? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Uh, now I'm going to have to look that up. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Coyotes or coyotes can outpace roadrunners by 23 miles per hour. So they're saying, uh, I don't believe that cartoon after all. Hmm. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. It was just a cartoon. Yeah, it was. All right. Fun fact for What's you, What's that, Heidi. John? A can of cat food contains as much meat as five adult mice. <laughs> well, wow. That's, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you for whoever did that study. <laughs> and our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Raccoons and slugs and ants all like to get drunk. Yeah. I don't know about uncles. Probably not. <laughs> Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area, but they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Stats show the average woman spends about 40 minutes every day doing this. What is it? It's not a great thing, by the way. I'm not supposed to do this. I have 40 no idea. minutes a day, the average woman spends gossiping. Oh. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You know who does that? I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, never mind. I won't, uh, I won't tell you. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentervention.com. That's Mentervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A 16-year-old used a firearm to pull off not one, not two, not three, not four, but five separate carjackings. Whoa. And he might have gotten away with it too if he hadn't worn the same exact blue Rugrat sweatshirt with a picture of Chucky on it every single time. Oh my gosh. He was picked out of a lineup pretty easily by three of his victims. <laughs> his fate was sealed when police found the sweatshirt that he was wearing in his residence, busted, charged with five felony charges of first degree robbery. So, why in the world is he doing that? Five carjackings? How many cars does he need? He must just use I'm, them to drive I'm somewhere. I'm assuming he's not just driving yeah. these things around and storing them in his garage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the long game was there. Maybe he just, <laughs> I don't know if he needed a ride somewhere instead of getting an Uber. He did this, but I don't know. Just a, it's a bad look. We'll put it that way. <laughs> it's a bad look. It just is a bad look. All right. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Facts you learn in school that are not quite facts. Part two, touching toads gives you warts. No, that, that doesn't happen. They're saying that is just a, an old wives' tale. Yeah. Yeah, so don't believe that. Um, I before E except after C rule. No, it's wrong 25% of yes. the time. Yeah, there's Science so forfeit, many ways weird, that it is wrong. Glacier, albeit fancier. I mean, Budweiser, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch. <laughs> All right, another on the list of facts that are not quite facts. Sugar makes you hyperactive. No, popularized by a flawed study in the 1970s, the connection between hyperactivity and sugar was actually debunked as a series of studies published by the Journal of American Medical Association in 1995, probably paid for by sugar. <laughs> by big sugar. Yeah, and this fact, you'll never walk around with a calculator. Yeah, remember teachers yeah, used to say that to us? Yeah, I remember them saying that. You need to learn math. You need to learn Why? this. Because you're not going to be walking around with a calculator. Well, now we do. <laughs> we have a calculator. We have Unless you get one of those dumb internet. phones. Yeah, we could. Yeah, if you get one of the dumb phones. I don't know. All right. Several interesting things. Uh, that is the second half of the list. You can see the first half and the second half in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit GenesisGoldIRA.com. 
Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Radiosavings.com. Our quote today is from Dave Barry. He's a funny dude. Dave says, user, the word computer professionals use when they mean idiot. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you ever read the instructions and yes. saying if you do this, user error, yeah, it's, it's yes. idiot error. And you know what the word idiot? I just, I just learned this the other day. The origin of the word idiot was somebody who would not participate in politics. I, I did. I remember hearing We were hearing together this. when we heard yes, this. We I'm were. like, I don't know if that's true. So I guess I haven't looked it up, but I, I just took their word for it. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. Story comes from Tucson, Arizona, where a cat who's been missing for five years was found at a gas station 1,200 miles Holy away. Cow. And then they got a chance to reunite. A lost Russian blue cat named Luke reunited with his owner, Cindy and Jeff, five years after disappearing from their home in Tucson. So 12 years ago, they rescued Luke as a kitten. And seven years, they had this cherished member of their family until one fateful day, he slipped out of the home and never came back. They have no idea what has been going on for the last five years, but fate had other plans. Last month, Positively Cats got an unexpected phone call saying, hey, we've got a cat here. And it was in Brinkley, Arkansas. 1,200 miles from Tucson. Wow. The shelter contacted Cindy and Jeff and said, hey, we've got some good news. Do you know that cat that you've been looking for? (laughs) We found him. Uh, They coordinated Luke's journey back home. That was no small feat, by the way. A volunteer transport group stepped up uh, and made sure that this cat made the 19-hour journey from one place to another. And I think that is absolutely fascinating. The cat gets all the way home, and then he's like, okay, it's I crazy. can't wait to get out of here again. <laughs> so, no, I don't think that happened. Uh, but they took to social media to share their thoughts and tell everybody thank you. And they say, "Woo! if only Luke could tell us how he wound up so far from home, we're sure it would be a fabulous story. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that did happen. Isn't that amazing? I remember reading a story one time about a cat that like somehow got onto a semi uh, Well, semi- that's what I was going to say. Trailer. Maybe somebody... Found yeah. him and picked him up, and then he well, escaped from them, too. So. And he was found at a gas station 1,200 miles away. Right. So it could have very easily, you know, gotten out been of a vehicle somebody, at a gas out station. Of theirs. Yeah. But it wouldn't, you wouldn't think that he would have been hanging out in a car that whole time, because, you know, five years, that's a long ride. That's a long ride. So now somebody in Arkansas is missing their cat. <laughs> They're like, well, we've had him for five years. <laughs> I think we call that finders keepers at this point. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show.